The Bhagavad Gita says his manifestation is endless, endless, never ends. That's to say we are endless. <laughs> so every time you return, let's say next time you return, you go to a self-knowledge class, <laughs> you already know it too. But look like whatever you're carrying, you are to be conscious at that time, you are in another state of bliss. You're going further into subtler worlds, subtle, subtle. And the divine love never ends, it's forever. But deep inside, you see only the senses, the mind changing. You see the body and the mind enjoying the food, this, this, and that. But here's the beauty. The Lord, you have your own ego, right? You are able to share the bliss, <laughs> but without the effects <laughs> you're sharing. So whatever you're sharing now is the Lord himself. Remember before creation? Keep imagining before the creation. Nothing there, no light, no beings, nobody even to know that God exists. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. That's terrible. Now you notice that all these are historic, this, the beauty, right? Here in creation, enjoying everything, but you are not in it. And the problem is this, since you have your own ego, some people say, that's me now, me, I am this, I am that, and that's the beginning of the pain. He still allows you to know, I have, the, I have my free will to do what I, what I want. But if you look a little behind you, you don't have any free will, you have... <laughs> You are moved by the previous actions. The previous actions are moving you. <laughs>